Welcome to Philadelphia for the 1926 World Heavyweight Title Bout between the champion Jack Dempsey and in the dark trunks, the challenger Gene Tunney. Let's now go ringside for the start of round one here on ESPN Classic. When round one. Gene Tunney with a crew haircut has the darker trunks. It's starting to rain, but the fight is going to continue. 130,000 fans here tonight. The largest gate in the history of American sports. Dempsey hasn't fought for three years. But even so, everyone figures it's a cinch for him to win by a knockout within a few rounds. Tunney looks pale, seems tense. Dempsey's best punch is his left hook. It destroyed those two giants, Jess Willard and Louis Purpo. He's got the best one-two combination in the business. While he doesn't have Dempsey's power, he can hurt you plenty. The end of round one. Third, fourth, and fifth rounds. Honey out boxes, Dempsey and keeps peppering the champion with a fast one-two. Now round six of this world's heavyweight title bout between champion Jack Dempsey and Gene Tunney here in Philadelphia. Dempsey always moving forward, bobbing, weaving, trying to get one good poke at Tunney. try for the heavyweight crown. Gene started out to be a lawyer, but joined the Marines in 1918. He began boxing in the service. He won the AEF championship and then decided to go into the fight game instead of the law. Tunney's had 60 professional fights, and he's lost only one. A 15-round decision to Harry Grab. Gene's won 30 of his fights by knockout. MC 
He has a cut under his right eye. Honey keeps peppering it. seventh and eighth rounds, Tunney continues to outbox and outhit the great Jack Dempsey. And the crowd is beginning to cheer for Tunney. Now round nine. Dempsey starts off every round with a rush, hoping to land a big punch. But each time, Tunney smothers the chance attack. Tunney has lost that tenseness of the early rounds. He's relaxed now, cool, fighting his own fight. Pretty good beating up to now. His face is badly swollen. His right eye is cut and closed. Coming down heavier now. Everyone, 130,000 fans, soak to the skin. The end of round nine. Final round of this battle for the world's heavyweight title between champion Jack Dempsey and the ex Marine Gene Tunney here in Philadelphia. Dempsey in the lighter trunks. Jack is desperate. He's way behind. He knows his only chance to keep his title now is by a knockout. three-year layoff has had its effect on Dempsey. His old speed is gone. His timing is off. And here in the tenth round, he's pretty well used up.
few seconds left, and the rain is coming down in torrents, almost a cloudburst. The end of the fight. Honey, the winner by unanimous decision. No hard feelings on Dempsey's part. He congratulates Dean Tunney, the new heavyweight champion of the world. Hi there, folks. This is Jim Stevenson taking you back to September 22, 1927. Soldiers Field, Chicago. Gene Tunney, world's heavyweight champion, defends his title against former champion Jack Dempsey, the Manassa Mauler. Round one. Tunney in the white trunks. Weighs 189 pounds tonight. Dempsey, 194. Great Jack Dempsey, one of the most popular champions of all time, fighting tonight to win back the title he lost to Gene Tunney the year before. Dempsey's loss to Tunney in their first fight was considered a terrific upset. Over a hundred thousand fans here in Soldiers Field tonight. Biggest crowd in all boxing history. Two and a half million dollar gate. All time record. This great crowd has come to see if Dempsey can do what no other heavyweight champion has ever done. Win back the title after once losing it. End of round one. Back in just a moment. From the second to the sixth round, Dempsey tries desperately for a knockout, but Tunney outboxes him. Now round seven. Tunney in the white trucks. A lot depends on Dempsey's legs tonight. Tunney is much faster than Dempsey. Dave Barry motions Dempsey to a neutral corner. Now let's take a closer look at all the action in slow motion. This is the historic long count. Dempsey lashes out like the old Manasseh Mauler. Tunney hits the canvas. The official knockdown timekeeper at ringside starts the count. But referee Dave Barry ignores him and instead he tries to make Dempsey understand that he will not start the count until Dempsey goes to the farthest neutral corner. That's the Illinois boxing rule. Dempsey finally obeys, and then Barry starts the count. The Dempsey fans here at ringside are furious. They're claiming that Tunney was down four seconds before the count was started. But the Tunney fans say the count has nothing to do with it. Tunney can get up any time. He's watching the referee and listening to the count. He's staying down only because he wants to take full advantage of the count. The Dempsey fans insist more than 10 seconds have elapsed, but Barry's count is still going on. Count is nine, Tunney is up. 
Tunney trying to stay away from Dempsey. Trying to last out the round. Dempsey's fans yelling to Jack to corner Tunney. But Tunney's too fast. Jack's legs just can't carry him that fast anymore. Dempsey's getting disgusted. He screams at Tunney, quit running away, come back and fight. But Tunney stays on that bicycle. He's not ready to trade punches with Dempsey yet a while. Tunney appears to be recovering from that knockdown. He's fast, even though he's been going backwards. His jab is straight and hard. His right cross has the old sting again. There's the end of round seven, one of the most famous rounds in the entire history of boxing. Now we go to round eight. Tunney's his old self again. All he needed was that one minute of rest. He's completely recovered from the knockdown. There's some comment here at ringside questioning Tunney's courage because he's been backtracking from Dempsey after the knockdown. But there's just as much comment saying Tunney was smart not letting Dempsey catch up with him while he's still rocky. Coming up now is Tunney's knockdown of Dempsey. Watch it in slow motion. A right cross on the button and Dempsey is down for a count of one. Jack more surprised than stunned. Tunney's knockdown of Dempsey is a dramatic example of Tunney's great courage and boxing ability. In the seventh round, Tunney was down for a nine count, very close to being knocked out. Yet here in the eighth round, Tunney has turned the tables on the great Manasseh Muller. Back in just a moment. In round nine, Tunney's superior boxing and speed continue to slow Dempsey up. Now the tenth and final round. Tunney tripped. That was no knockdown, no count. Thousands of Dempsey's fans screaming for him to land a haymaker. Jack's doing his best. He knows now it's got to be a knockout if he's going to win tonight. Timing is perfect. There's no doubt now that he's the master, a real champion.
Time's running out on Dempsey. And Dempsey seems to have run out of gas. Tully's speed is too much for him. Tunney's ripping lefts and rights have been landing like a trip hammer. But the great Jack Dempsey is still in there, trying for one big part. One more like that big seventh round. Just 30 seconds left. It's now or never for the former champion. A light punch rocks Dempsey. And now the fans are yelling for Tunney to score a knockout. The bell and the fight is over. Gene Tunney the winner and still heavyweight champion of the world.